October 31st is an important day for the two stimulus packages Congress is currently working on. Let's get into it and discuss all the details as well as what we can expect this week out of Congress as they are back in session after yet again being on vacation. Let's get right into it. But really quickly, thank you so much for watching. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video. Thank you. I truly do appreciate it. Let's get into it and talk about October October 31st and what we can expect out of Congress this week. So as we all know, Congress is currently working on the reconciliation bill. Now, as of recently, I've been calling this one the mystery bill, simply because this one started out with a price tag of $3.5 trillion. And as of about a week and a half ago, we do know that they came out and they said, we need to shave this thing down by either a few hundred billion dollars and or a trillion or trillion and a half dollars. We're not quite sure where this thing is going to shake out. So that's why I've been calling it the mystery bill, simply because we have no no idea if it's going to be 3.5, 1.5, 3 trillion, 2 trillion, or anywhere in between. So we'll continue watching that very closely. However, this week, Congress will be back in session and they have some major deadlines right ahead of them simply because they've been gone on vacation all of last week. Yes, again, <laughs> even after they were gone pretty much the entire month of August and half of September, they needed to be gone once again. So anyway, they will be back this week and through the rest of the month. However, However, October 31st is only two weeks away. Therefore, they have a ton to do in these next two weeks. So let's talk about why October 31st is an important day and what we can actually expect out of Congress this week as it's going to be very, very busy. Yeah, you'll, you see how they like to wait until the very last minute to get things done? This comes as no surprise as we've seen this happen over the last year and a half or even longer where every single time they have an important deadline ahead of them and then <laughs> they wait until the very last minute to get anything done. So uh, yeah, anyway, pretty interesting. But this week, Congress will be back in session working on the reconciliation bill and possibly be coming together on the actual spending provisions and the final price tag on this bill as we have a you know this pretty much this great divide between many people through the, throughout the party right now, right? So over the last few days here, we've seen Nancy Pelosi and uh, Bernie Sanders coming out, basically blaming the media for actually not selling this package to the public, like you and me, the people, right? So yeah, there's a lot of people out there that are very frustrated about this thing. But when it comes to October 31st, that is the date in which Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, by the way, the leaders of both of the chambers, Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the House, and Chuck Schumer, the uh, majority leader in the Senate on the Democratic side. So the two leaders of the parties in the chambers have basically both come out together and said October 31st is the next line in the sand where they want to get these two packages fully passed through. Well, if that's the case, they've got a lot of work ahead of them over the next two weeks here, especially when it comes to this reconciliation bill and making sure that everybody who needs to vote for this thing is on board with it and actually going to get it passed through. Because remember, they need every single senator to actually vote for this because of the 50-50 spread in the Senate, right? So they do have a little bit of a majority in the House, so that's not really the issue. It's not the House, it's the Senate that is the major issue. However, they're going to be working on this thing this week and hopefully shaking out some of the details on this. Now, there's been a lot of discussions as far as how are they actually going to shave the package down in size as far as the price tag on this. Remember, they've got to bring it down anywhere between about $500 billion, like a half a trillion dollars, all the way down to maybe even a trillion and a half dollars. How are they going to do that? Well, we've started to get a little bit of a glimpse into that over the last few days here. Number one, they could actually reduce some of the climate spending in there. In fact, right now, they're talking about potentially reducing some of the funding for climate, as in money going to coal plants to make them uh, like energy efficient, right? So like uh, emissions and things like this are within the standards to make them uh, like clean energy, right? Well, they're possibly talking about removing that out of there. And it sounds like that could possibly be up to about a hundred billion dollars. There's also talk about potentially even shaving down the child tax credit payments, 
Remember those? Well, as of right now, within the package, they want to extend those out until, or through, I should say, 2025. Those are the $250 to $300 per month payments per child for people who are eligible with kids under the age of 17 and who earn under certain thresholds, right? So those are in there as well, potentially on the chopping block, buddy here. Everything in the package right now is essentially on the chopping block or the shaving block, right? So one other parameter that uh, a few representatives have brought up is let's just leave everything in the bill, but let's just shave down the, the time horizons on everything. So that is another option that's out there right now, but that's not getting a whole lot of traction. However, one thing that President Biden said just the other day when he was in a meet or when he was in a, um, like a, a speech in Connecticut, he came out and basically said, we're not going to get the $3.5 trillion. We recognize it's going to be less than that, but let's get it done and then we'll come back and get the rest. So in other words, he's basically indicating that there will be future packages after this. If that's not the case, I mean, how would they come back and get the rest, right? So that's kind of his strategy is let's just get something done now. Let's get it done now, whatever it happens to be, whether it's two trillion, one and a half, whatever, let's just get it done now. And then we'll come back at some point relatively soon in a separate package once again and grab all of the other parameters. So as you can see, there's a lot of different options here on the table. It's a matter of just Congress finally coming together and deciding on a strategy, sticking with it, and kind of powering through with it. So we'll actually see if they can actually kind of stick together and actually do that, right? But either way, one more thing I want to point out is if they do actually miss this October 31st deadline that they've drawn in the sand as far as the final date in which they want to pass these packages, if this happens to be the date that they blow right past it, like so many other deadlines that they've had, they only have a couple weeks in November to actually get things done because once again, you guessed it, they're going to be gone on vacation for the holiday, right? So <laughs> it's too bad that they can't actually stay, stay there in office and actually do something and actually get their work done before they go and play, but apparently that's not how the system is set up. So they will actually be leaving once again in November. And then again in December, yeah, if it if it if for some reason it actually extends out into December, yet again they'll be leaving in December for a long long vacation. So Oh man, yeah, we're kind of really, really coming down to the wire here as we are um, facing a multiple different vacations, multiple different recess, and they've got these big packages on the table right now where they want to actually get them passed. Now, previously, when it comes to their summer recess, sometimes they've actually foregone maybe like a week or so of their summer uh, recess to actually stay in session and actually get things done. We'll have to watch that closely and see if they actually do that this time. I would have to anticipate, since it's backing up to a holiday, a major holiday, Thanksgiving uh, would be in obviously in November, considering it's backing up to that, I'm guessing they probably want to hit the road and go enjoy some time in their districts and at their hometowns and at home doing whatever they do, right? So uh, yeah, we'll have to see about that. Uh, but anyway, I want to let you know what's going on. This week will probably be another very, very busy week as Congress will be in session. They'll be talking about all this stuff, and I imagine the drama will continue as we've seen so many other times as we get right down to the wire on these deadlines like this. Usually it gets pretty hot and heated going right up to those final deadlines simply because they're trying to jam a bunch of things through. They're trying to get a bunch of things done in a relatively short period of time, and you know, there's a lot of people out with their opinions, their ideas, their strategies, everything that they want to add it or subtract it and all these different things. So it usually gets to be pretty dramatic in the last week, week and a half, two weeks, things like that. And that actually is starting pretty much right now. So I'll continue watching this very closely. I wanted to let you know why that October 31st date is a very important date that we need to watch. It's going to be a scary one, regardless of how you look at it, right? Whether it comes out of Congress or on your front doorstep or wherever, your door, right? <laughs> Halloween, by the way, yeah. So anyway, hope this helps you out. Please again, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video. I'll continue watching everything as it pertains to social security, retirement, disability, SSDI, survivors, SSI, VA, RRB, low income, no income, and pretty much everything else regarding stimulus, stimulus package, stimulus checks, anything like that, anything that could possibly help you out, I'll continue watching it and I will deliver that information to you right here promptly as it's being released. So again, thank you so much. Subscribe down below. Leave your comments or questions down below as I do read through as many as I possibly can each and every day. And I may just come back and make a dedicated video if I see a, a common question coming up multiple different times. So enjoy your day. I'll catch you again later in the next one and I'll see you soon.